Hi there, and welcome to the second live recording I'm doing. Um, this time I'm going to be looking at a VOR DME approach. Um, this is something new for me. I've really never done navigation stuff. And VOR DME is my first uh, look at, well, navigation in general, actually. Um, I'm currently flying northwest of TNCM. Heading to seven zero, although it doesn't really look like it on the map. Um, I'm in the uh, A330, 200, this one. I don't even know if Air Berlin flies to TNCM or not, but I don't care. It's about navigation. So um, from the tutorials I've watched on YouTube about VORDME for real life is... Um, you can use the frequency of the VOR station um, and that can tell the plane where you are relative to that station. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna see if I can figure out how that works. So I know there's a VOR DME right next to uh, St. Martin's uh, runway. Um, so let's go to the navigation frequencies and the frequency should be one 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 three point zero 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 okay um, and we want to approach this VOR at 95 degrees because that's the runway heading and we want to basically come in for approach so oh, 95 okay um so i think i can now uh, turn south to meet the uh, to meet this line whatever it's officially called so let's do that i really like the way this uh, autopilot works on the uh, on the a330 it actually took me a while to figure it out, but then uh, I watched one of the uh, Flight Gear Airbus tutorials and I saw it's just simply scrolling with your wheel. It's very, well, very logical actually. <laughs> um, also, I can reduce my speed a little bit to 20 will do. Oh, and I really haven't checked my weight so let's uh, pretend I did and it's pretty much something uh, we can land with now <laughs> uh, we can continue this turn I think oh other way and um, then we should be able to pick up something on the displays so let's see 120 um, which view is good for that? This one? That's okay. First of all, we have to set this to VOR. Oh. VOR. Uh, oh. We are crossing the line already, I think. Yeah, from what I've seen, this is um, the line we also saw on the map. And then this is... Um, our position relative to that line I think oh, oh no this represents the line and this is us so we have to fly to the left to stay on course so we have in this case we are now below the line so we have to turn even further left to I don't know 60 Um, and we can, let's set this, uh, this up, we can descend to, uh, to, well, what, 2000, I don't know, how far are we away, I, I can read that, um, 22 miles, alright, now we can 
be sent a little bit slower, I think. <laughs> I really don't know, I'm just guessing. Okay. That's great. Now we should be starting to line. Ah, yes. The little thing is uh, going to the middle, so that's perfect. Means we are meeting up with the line, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, actually. <laughs> oh, by the way, you, you might notice there's no engine sounds or something. Uh, for some reason, uh, since I upgraded to Flight Gear 2.8, my A330 doesn't have any engine sounds. Maybe it's something in the A330, the latest uh, development version, because that's the one I'm using. Maybe it's a little bug there, or maybe it's uh, something uh, I've done wrong, I don't know. But that explains why they're uh, turned too far. <laughs> I gotta practice this. I'm not really good at it yet. Uh, 120. I'm, I'm gonna pay attention this time. How far are we away? Uh, uh -oh. You know, there's a button here, uh, the vertical speed knob. If you press that, it will level off the plane, meaning that um, you can stop climbing and continue uh, the current altitude. I wish there was something for the heading as well, but yeah, something that was probably not necessary in aviation. I'll not trust Airbus for that. But it, it makes sense to me, though, <laughs> to have such a... Such a such a knob. All right. I I don't know why. Um, I, I'm I'm telling it to turn to ninety, but it really doesn't seem like it's it's doing that because it's not really flying straight to the right on the map. And I should be paying more attention to this display and not the map. <laughs> I think you should be able to do this, yeah, and of course you should be able to do this without a map, because in real life it's always that way. They don't just have some cool dynamic map they can open like this. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's slowly going to the right, I believe. Ah, uh, barely. Because I, uh, we're I'm seeing some land there, so let's descend more and slow down. Uh, the reason I'm doing this in an airliner, by the way, is uh, because I've watched tutorials on how to do it on, for example, Cessna, but it really, it was more confusing to me. So I thought if I want to turn this into a how-to, which I will, um, first of all, it would be better for me to understand what, what I'm talking about. And also, um, I know many, many people on Flight Gear, well, in Flight Gear, in the Flight Gear community, fly airliners and would like to know how VORDME works uh, for airliners. So maybe I'll also do a tutorial for... Uh, like Cessna planes, and uh, maybe not, I don't know yet. Okay, let's slow down a bit, and a bit high. So it's just over five miles left, uh, really high. I hope I'm still gonna make it, let's disable the autopilot. Uh, wow. Well, I think I just managed to fly to the runway using VOR DME. Uh, but yeah, I, I still looked at the map too too often. <laughs> uh, trying to talk and land at the same time is 
not really my strongest point, you can see. Uh, what was I talking about again? Yeah, I I have to uh, look at the instruments more and just ignore the entire map thing. Uh, but, you know, that's just practicing, I guess. Uh, now let's just end this video with a decent landing. I'm still high. Wow. It's really a, a low approach to this airport, actually. Too bad there's not really a, a beach in flight care at the moment. I don't know if I'm just missing some awesome download link somewhere, but auto throttle off. Not the best lineup Minimums. ever. Minimums. Minimum. Continue. That's what they always say in the cockpit. Sounds cool. One hundred. Uh. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Okay. Let's put some reversers in. Oh. Uh, 80 knots, 70, no, not 70, stop the reversers, let's see, it's a nice view, gonna try to do the turn a bit realistically, I believe you have to go to the left first, just a bit, and then turn all the way, uh, you know, the entire 180 degrees. <laughs> Never really done it, so it looks realistic. So let's see. So let's slow down a bit and uh, select engine one for this, I guess. Okay, some engine power. I'm slowing down. <laughs> hmm. I have to work on this. It's not really good, but you know, we made the turn. So I think I'm going to end this video now. It, uh, yeah, if this was the entire VORD me thing, it, it's not really difficult, I guess, but I'll uh, try and practice a bit more and um, eventually you'll see the uh, how-to pop up on my channel. That's probably going to be the A330 or the 777, I don't know. Same instrument basically for, for those two, but for smaller planes it's just entirely different. Or at least it seemed to me to be entirely different. <laughs> so uh, please uh, let me know if if uh, I've done anything wrong, really wouldn't surprise me. And uh, stay tuned for the how-to.